is Herb. Welcome to my shop. On today's video, I'm going to uh, talk about my mill repair and uh, progress on it. And uh, also, I show my uh, vice stop that I've uh, made and uh, a few other little goodies that I can throw in here. So, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get started here. I uh, wanted to uh, show everyone that's been following my dilemma with this uh, grizzly mill that I've got it back together and got it running. Uh, I had to broach uh, two gears um, and uh, bore out one and uh, broach it and uh, mill down the hub on it so it would fit in the intermediate shaft. Uh, so everything's working. It's uh, it's noisier than I uh, would like, but I knew that going in because that plastic gear in there uh, was uh, one of the reasons they had that was uh, to reduce the noise in the gear train. I've got it. Um, uh, the gears all lubed up. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to turn it on here and uh, we'll run it for a bit. So that's not too bad. So that's it for the mill. Thanks for everybody's uh, input and uh, comments on uh, on this mill repair. Uh, you know, it started out in February, around the first week in February, with the motor being burnt up. I replaced the uh, motor with this uh, uh, treadmill motor. I designed the mount as you see it here, and a friend of mine uh, milled out the uh, the top plate and these two side uh, uh, rails, and it uh, it fits together quite nicely. The motor is actually held into place. There's two slotted uh, holes down below that allow forward and back uh, movement of the motor to adjust the uh, engagement of the gears. Uh, the two rods uh, on each side actually hold the motor together, but I'm using those uh, to uh, attach the motor to the uh, to the base here, and it's uh, it's very sturdy. Anyway, uh, I've got it uh, repaired. Hopefully, uh, we will uh, finish up the power draw bar. Also, I want to do. Uh, belt drive uh, mod on this that uh, from the plans that I got from uh, Haas at uh, g0704.com and uh, so anyway that's uh, that's it for the uh, mill repair thanks in this segment I wanted to uh, show my little vice stop it was inspired by uh, Tom Lipton at Ox Tool Co. Uh, basically what it is is a plate here on the back that is screwed into the uh, back uh, jaw uh, screw holes and it is uh, got a uh, uh, screw here that uh, goes into that and allows for adjustment and you can uh, move this back and forth and uh, flip it up whatever also here on the end is uh, a rod 
that uh, using a uh, another uh, you can move this rod in and out and uh, set your depth stop uh, in the uh, in the chuck uh, and the rod is uh, flat and I turn that on or face that on the lathe and the other end is uh, beveled and so what goes up there is uh, dead flat against that and here we have a, a slot that we can uh, move uh, back and forth to adjust this in and out about an uh, inch and a half or so once you tighten that up it's uh, it's dead solid so that's my uh, vice dip stop I bought this Harbor Freight 20 ton uh, press a few uh, months ago and have used it a couple of times but in the process of repairing my uh, mill I had to broach some gears and uh, pressing the broaching uh, rod through the, the gear took some something like 150 to 200 strokes of the uh, the uh, handle on the, on the jack and uh, those uh, things I had to make about three passes per uh, gear so uh, I uh, decided that I was going to uh, get me something a little bit better so I, I went and bought uh, at Harbor Freight again a uh, air actuated 20 ton jack and it actually works quite well I uh, it was easy to install I just lowered the the ram and uh, uh, took the other jack out and put this one in there and I hooked it up to air bleed I bled the uh, hydraulic uh, section per their instructions and uh, it worked quite well and about four or five passes that I had to do on these gears uh, only took me uh, about less than an hour I guess and it sure saved my arm but anyway it's worth the investment I think I, with coupons and everything I paid uh, about ninety dollars for this jack I'm not sure exactly how much it was and uh, it, it works okay uh, the press has a lot of a lot of things that can be uh, done better on it and uh, there are some folks on YouTube that have some uh, videos on that and I, uh, I may work on that sometime but right now it's uh, not a priority for me uh, so that's enough for the jack I <laughs> use the back side of it to uh, keep my uh, prints on things that I'm building with a little magnet and uh, that way I can see them from the lathe which is on the other side I want to thank all my subscribers and uh, folks for watching uh, my videos uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a uh, Keith Finner or uh, Tom Lipton or Double Boost or Adam. I'm just a uh, retired engineer that uh, decided that he wanted to do metal work about two years ago. And so just about everything I've learned, I've picked up on, uh, on YouTube. And I want to especially thank the guys that I just mentioned for all their uh, videos because they certainly uh, helped me learn a little bit and uh, making these videos I basically just showing off ideas that I've uh, uh, done myself uh, uh, in the past uh, year or so uh, and uh, 
not uh, most of it is not my original design but uh, I do uh, sometimes uh, being an engineer uh, I'll make changes to uh, uh, to someone else's design to uh, suit my own needs. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.